Wait, we have a trade league? We don't have a trade league. We do have a trade league. Huh. So we don't have the size limitation that Merchant Republics do, but we do have a trade league. So why would you ever play as a Merchant Republic? Oh God, I hate what they've done to Merchant Republics. Second question is, do we really want Odiev in our trade league? No, because that's just asking for trouble from Big Bad Muscovy. Oh, you're at war with the Teutons and the Livonians. Tver was annexed. Muscovy is a great power. May did run a campaign, it was just an absolutely atrocious one. And I'm in a pretty conservative area. Trade League of Venice has disbanded. That's surprising. We definitely need to raise army maintenance right now. We also need a general. No, not that. That. He's even worse than last time. Absolutely fantastic. So how do we increase the amount of Strelsky raisingness that we did we get? Oh, it's based on military stats, so that's military diplo and admin. Okay. We can raise another unit. I think it's gonna be knights. Can it get Except they are more expensive. Gonna get they hit harder. Yeah, everyone seems to ignore the youth vote, except for Corbin, thankfully. I mean I know a lot of my friends voted Labour because he was so pro youth. Say Reval because we have to occupy Reval. And then. Maintenance is at full. We can cancel you. And declare war. Teutons will not answer. Confirm. Okay, let's see how this works. I remembered my navy this time. Important. Right, that was the Teuton army. That looks like a defeated Livonian army moving away. Good. P Poland's occupying territories down there. Relations with Poland have gone to maximum, which is only 90. Hopefully Poland doesn't take Livonian territories, that would be annoying. Alright, ticking time is going to be on our side. Let's take Riga out, like we did last time. You guys are fully repaired, let's go and sh smash their navy. They ran away. Election, because he died. I'm going to take the military candidate. Oh crap, this means that he has no general again. Uh, please be good, please be good, please be acceptable. Unfortunately, I can't assign you until we've actually won the Siege of Riga. And you immediately become an embezzler. And Muscovy declared war. Oh, for fuck's sake!
Muscovy is just going to be carpet sieging me now. Uh, and there are still on high war enthusiasm. They have no general here. Till this guy comes in. My guy's better than his. We'll have the defensive bonus. It's in Novgorod. We've consolidated. We still have a fairly decent military. I don't really want to wait longer because Moscovy will just bring in more troops. Yeah, we have to fight this one. <sighs> I have a. Wow, 343. No. That's the second try down. Third time lucky. I think it took me about six tries last time I played as Novgorod. Something like that. All right. Oh, no. Oh, son of a... Wrong button. <laughs> Slow down. We got this. We don't got this. I do seem to remember the time I did do this, I had Denmark as an ally. Getting Poland as an ally would be amazing. I think I'm doing the right thing going after the Livonians. I think I need that territory. The problem was North, uh, Muscovy declaring war at the same time. And the fact that I didn't get to Ver quickly enough. I need to fabricate and just be ready to just go. Okay, third time lucky. Ooh, discipline. Yes, please. We're going to get two more knights. And then one, two, three infantry. Oh, wow, we've got an extra one. Uh, I think the Livonians just rivaled us off the bat. Muscovy, Tver, Livonians, Denmark has once again rivaled us. Poland. Well, day one, let's have a look at our alliance options. Yeah, they're the same. Odiev and Ryzan. The closest next one would be Theodoro, then Riga, then Wallachia, Circassia. Kanda, Pomerania. These options are terrible. It would take some doing to get Teutons. Great Horde. Ottomans. Ottomans are too far away still. It's got to be Poland, really. 
We'll see if it works. Drop you, drop you. Oops. Discord, you say? No, oh, good grief, yeah. Seems like a charming woman. Okay, let's see how this goes. Do I sign my merchants? I did. Did I forget to go to speed 5? I did. Am I not fabricating on Tver? I am not. Muscovy are embargoing me. I should probably embargo them. Lithuania have already gone, that's good. Uh, Poland, I'm going to stop with you for just a moment, just so I can embargo Muscovy. Surrender of Maine again, good. Um, like, how, how likely is this really? If we got rid of the neutral stance, then it's possible. At least they don't have too many allies yet, but that's clearly going to change. Alright, see how this goes. Civ the 14th century witnessed the start of Novgorod's long struggle with Moscow for supremacy. Intercenine disputes along the republics, among the republic's leaders weakened it in the face of growing Muscovite strength. Although it became a vassal of Moscow after the Muscovite invasions of 1456 and 1470, Novgorod was allowed to retain its self-government. It was not until 1478 that it came under Moscow's complete control and lost its freedom. Novgorod retained its commercial position until St. Petersburg was built in 1703. You gain five mercantilism, which is pretty damn strong. You know what? I'll take the mercantilism. I'm going to wait on that, though. We're going to go raise maintenance. You guys are going to appear in Karelia and Ortega. Ortega or Onega? Onega. So here and here. We have like a month. Karelia, Onega. Moscovy are claiming my stuff. We beat the rebels. Losing manpower in the process though. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Come on, good leader. He's the worst one yet. It's gone from a 1111 to a 1101 to a 1100. Come on. Oh, crap. Nope. Stop. Lose money, gain military. Or Muscovy will gain power in one of the nodes we trade in. That's only for like 10 years. Gain 25 Diplo. I actually want the aristocrats to stay in power, so we're losing money, which means we're going to have to take a loan already. But, we should be able to take Tver this time. No, why is... Oh, we didn't get the fabrication. Right. That's fine. What? Ah. Good. Make sure that Muscovy can't get any of these territories. Poland has announced Muscovy as a rival. That's very good for us. Poland. Do, 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 do. 
We have mutual rivals. Why is... Oh, it is. Yeah. Novgorod is threatened by Muscovy, which is giving plus 20. If you didn't have too many rivals, then we could probably get that alliance. Too many uh, relations, and we could probably get that alliance. <laughs> of course they did. Of fucking course they did. I think we just got to keep on trying to take Tver. Hey, the Great Horde's giving us money. Thank you. Had to be the time when Poland rivaled Muscovy as well, didn't it? Yeah, Muscovy would be too easy, though. Plus, I quite like the merchanty tradey stuff. And I was talking to Johan about boosting Novgorod when I was there in um, Sweden. And we were talking quite a lot about it, and I'm really happy with the changes, but it's still a bloody hard game, which I'm not complaining about. All the anguish you're seeing is because of the uh, the way that events are transpiring. Novgorod is meant to be a doomed nation. I just wish they were slightly less doomed. <laughs> hey, Gathan. Okay, so we've won the Siege of Tver, which should mean that... Blip, 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 blip. All your things are belong to us. Good. Let's go and free the land. Do I want to risk some of my very precious military points on getting a rule early better general? I think I do. Nope. Yes. Get you. Kick you. Go and kill that army because it has no leader. Where is their main army? I don't know. Oh, they're all here. You leave on the 13th, I arrive on the 21st. Perfect. You are coming back again, but it will take you a little while to return. Oh man. Losses are not good. Wait, why am I stuck? No, of course we run away down there. Of course we do. Um, right, mercenary time. You, merge you. Sure, I should probably merge the cavalry too. We don't have the manpower for you to recover anyway. Okay. Like, honestly, this is the best opportunity we've had yet because we were able to take Tver out, so we're going to fight it. I don't really see a way of winning, especially as Novgorod's about to fall. We just don't have time to siege it down. And you're going to try and attack me here, are you? You are. Are you? Maybe? Possibly? I'm going to wait until you're locked. Sucks to be you. More mercenaries. More loans. More mercenaries. Well, with the way that Italy are idiots, I... Actually, I've never played as Ethiopia, so I'm not going to say it'll be easy to win. I have absolutely no idea. Um... We arrive on the 23rd, you leave on the 27th. That's too early. 
We arrive on the 26th. You leave on the 27th. I arrive on the 28th. We need to go and save Novgorod if we can. What? You were supposed to have left. Oh, your big army did leave. <laughs> of course they do. What am I doing wrong? What could I be doing differently? It's not a diplomatic solution because you can't have any allies. You just don't start off with enough. This is still only 1447. Four years into the game and this is how badly things go and how quickly things go badly. We could just peace out uh, Muscovy. What do they want? Yeah, they want three quarters of our territory. Like, one on one, I can fight Muscovy. When I'm also dealing with the Livonians, and when my army was caught out of position because we were fighting against Tver, we can't. I still think that going after Tver early is the right way to do it, otherwise Muscovy just snaps them up and that just makes Muscovy stronger. At least this way we have more money and more force limit, especially once we call them. It should probably go up to about 20, so we will gain like two additional regiments plus money plus manpower from taking this. I mean, best case scenario is you can take Tver and you can take Livonians before Muscovy comes after you. But that's a big ask. Like, Livonia is not easy to beat even if they are in a war with the uh, Teutons against Poland-Lithuania. There are just no... there are no people around us that we can ally with. Sweden's not... Um, their liberty desire is not high enough to support their independence to pull them away from Denmark. Denmark's rivaled us in every single game. I am sure that I had Denmark on my side in the past. I am sure of it. But in all three games that we've played so far, we have not been able to get Denmark. I mean, obviously this is a fourth time lucky. Once again, we can't win this. Not with Livonia at the same time. So the answer doesn't lie in allies. It's got to be conquest. It's just whether you get lucky. I hate these constant restarts. This is not how I like to play the game. I'm not one of these nitty-picky min-maxers, like, always trying to go, ooh, this has got to be the best possible outcome, but there's no point playing on if you can't at least have a chance of winning. I mean, I don't mind the odd loss. I will lose some territory in order to take it back again, but the problem is, territory you lose to Muscovy means that Muscovy is stronger, and then just, that just delays your inevitable. They always grow stronger and stronger and stronger, especially as they gobble up the uh, nations around them. Novgorod doesn't have that luxury. Okay, fourth time lucky. And I'm not even playing on hard. This is normal. Denmark's rivaled us again. Same two allies, Odiev and Ryzan. It's better than nothing, I guess. We'll do that, and with my other diplomat, we're going to start covert actions against you. All right, we'll see if this makes any difference. Ooh, morale of armies bonus. That's a nice one to have. And merchants, that's the other thing I'm forgetting. Cool. 
speed things up again. Ryzan have accepted our alliance. You can go and protect trade in Novgorod. You can mothball. We can reduce maintenance and start building some new troops. Which will consist of two cavalry and a couple of infantry. Okay, here we go. Fourth time lucky. And then the other ally was Odiev. And then with that we're going to start improving relations with Poland. Wait, not same religion. Pe oh, it is still ten. It was the army c that was different. Uh, because I don't have Lithuania yet. Improve relations. Confirm. Alright, we just need to wait for their morale to increase and then we can combine you all together. So far, so good. Seventeen units. Okay. Let's move you over here. Once this gets up to about seventeen, we'll... Okay. That's not terrible. At least we're not at war with anyone else. We are going to have to go over our force limit with mercenaries. Up to 22,000? Sounds fairly reasonable. And yet we're going to have to go very deep into loans. That is expected though. We are a merchant republic so we can eventually recover from that. Alright. So far not so bad. Our allies, are they in? They are. So are all of theirs. 27,000 versus 39. And they have full morale. We do not. People are sending us money, though. They don't... They really don't like Muscovy. <laughs> it's what I'm taking from this. Could start taking the war to them. Especially while their armies are so split. I mean, if you're coming down here to fight against my friends. Oh, what? They have two forts next to each other? That's just cheating. I think I'm going to come and clean up some of their minions 